Dear friends, when I was a little boy, steam trains always intrigued and allowed me to understand the world around me. When my friend Thomas the Tank Engine went on his worldwide tour, loads of stories and tall tales were told about him, leaving people to get the wrong idea. This here is the true story about what actually happened when Thomas left to see the world. The Author It was springtime on the island of Sodor. The flowers grew wild, and the air felt fresh. One morning, Thomas was shunting oil trucks in the yards, and was struggling with shunting two oil trucks. Gordon has saw what Thomas was doing. That looks way too heavy for a little engine like you. Why don't you let a bigger engine like me help you? I don't need any help. I can do this by myself. <laughs> oh, laugh all you'd like, Gordon. You always think I'm too small to do anything. I'm starting to think the alliance you thought of when I got trapped down the mine never happened. Oh, <laughs> now I feel silly. The brakes were on. Meanwhile, on the road near the mainland, Edward was pulling a goods train to Wellsworth. <laughs> Great Scott, what was that? Did I? Excuse me, mate. Oh. Um, is this the way to the island of Sodor? Yes, but only if you're a railway engine. Where do you think you're going? I think I'm going over the railway bridge. Where do you think I'm going? Then there was trouble on the other side of the bridge. Sydney was rolling towards it with a goods train on the other side. Look out! <laughs> Mind yourself, mate. You wouldn't want to blow a gasket over nothing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Thomas was pulling the tankers back onto the tracks. Oh, what are they still doing here? Thomas, you need to take these fish trucks to Vickerstown. They're very smelly. But isn't James supposed to do that, sir? I thought the fish were supposed to be delivered during the night. What was Henry doing leaving all of this here? Besides, I need to take Annie and Clarabelle out on my branch line. James isn't here, and Henry cracked his safety valve last night, remember? Besides, we simply can't have these fish stinking up the yard any longer. They'll need to be sent on time. Or get all these deliveries done in time, or help mum with her cake in time, or getting enough money for my bills in time, or find time for time and time! <laughs> um, which delivery do you want me to do? I can't be in two places at once, sir. Oh, just the fish. Forget what I just said just now. And, don't forget to bring me my coaches, Thomas. I mustn't keep my passengers waiting. Can't you fetch your own coaches this one time, Gordon? Remember, Thomas, tender. Don't say it, because in reality, you have no experience. But hey, if you want to take the lazy route, that's fine with me. He is right, you know. <whistles> All aboard. <whistles> Express coming through. Is Gordon pulling fish trucks? Fish trucks? Those fish trucks need to be taken to Vickerstown, and that's where Gordon is going. He's just being extra useful today. <laughs> <laughs> fish Express coming through. On the other side of the lane, Ace was then stopped by his driver. Ace? What the hell were you thinking? Almost hitting a man, and driving on the railway tracks without thinking there might be trains coming? You're lucky we didn't get caught or get hurt. We needed to get to the docks faster. I know you are all daring, but we can't be taking risks all the time. Now we need to go back to the docks. We're going to need some practice. 
on a safer road. Somebody's got to be the favorite. Hey, excuse me. Hmm, what's this I bumped into? I don't know, Birdie, but it looks like maybe this will be worth a fortune. But we better get moving. We have a schedule to keep up. Huh? Who is that? <gasps> Hello? Are you a racing car? That's right, mate. Oh, I certainly am. Want to race? Race? No, Thomas. I was talking to him, not you, Annie. What? A little racing car like me against a big tank engine like you? <laughs> All right, mate. Ready, set... Thomas! Go! See you later! <laughs> wow! Did you see that? Later on, Thomas was amazed at Ace's amazing speed. Cinders and ashes! That was amazing! You can spin around in a complete circle. I wish I could do that. You made a 360, mate. Well, what's stopping you? These rails. The only time I get to spin around is when I'm on the turntable, and that's not very fast. But you can do a 360. Anyways, who are you and what are you doing here? I've never seen you on Sodor before. Me? <laughs> mate, my name's Ace. And I'm on a race around the world. Five cross-country valleys on five different continents. Wow. And is the first race here on Sodor? Excuse me, Thomas. You almost scared my son half to death due to your speed. Oops. Sorry about that. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Is the first race on Sodor? On Sodor? Don't be silly, mate. I'm here to catch on a ship to get to the first race. My friends and I would be in Africa so I can stop my rally. <gasps> That's so exciting. Maybe I'll see the world someday. Well, why don't you? They do have rails in other countries, you know. Mate, you should do it. Free and easy. That's my motto. Who knows? You could be the first railway engine to go all the way around the world. That's probably never been done before. Anyway, I haven't got time to hang around all day. I need to carry on with my speed trials. Wasn't he amazing? I might catch up with him myself, but maybe after my work. Wise decision, Thomas. Hey, Thomas. You cannot believe what I just bumped into. What's that, Bertie? I just found a very special piece of actual solid gold. Wow. That's amazing, Bertie. I know. I even heard from my driver that it was a part of an artifact that can help receive money if received in the museum. That could really be helpful. I wonder if there's more artifacts around the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello, little brother. Hello. <laughs> what is that terrible smell? Is it you, Gordon? Are you pulling the flying kipper today? Or are those actually fish trucks at the back of your coaches? Fish trucks? Fish trucks? Oh, the indignity! Thomas! Ah, Thomas. Thank you for sorting out those fish trucks earlier. That was a great help. Not a problem, sir. Always happy to be really useful. And, well, there is something else I wanted to talk to you about, sir. I've had an idea. Wait, what's that letter in your hand? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just, uh, a postcard from my cousin. If I don't get enough money, my railway is doomed, and if my railway is doomed, my engines will not have much work to do and my railway will be put out of business. And if I don't have a railway, then who am I? Sir, you seem rather tense and worried. Is something wrong? 
Yes, everything, Thomas. I'm supposed to pay these bills in three months and I don't have enough money to pay for them. That's terrible, sir. But I actually heard from Bertie that he found a gold nugget from a golden artifact. And he told me these artifacts could give you money if you sold them to museums. In fact, how would you like it, sir, if one of your engines could be the first railway engine to go right round the world to find more artifacts to raise enough money to save Sodor? Round the world? I've never heard of a railway engine going around the world. Well, except for the Flying Scotsman. That money would be very helpful, but one engine leaving their branch line could still mean I'll end up bankrupt and my railway will shut down. Who even am I if I don't have a railway? Sir, look at me. You are our controller of the railway. This idea will help you make enough money to save the Northwestern Railway. I can feel it in my firebox. Well, it would be a marvelous thing if it could be done, Thomas, but I doubt it's that easy. The world's not all one big railway, you know. There are oceans to cross, as well as deserts, jungles, and mountains. Nothing is impossible, sir. There's no harm in trying, and besides, I can sort out the details on the way. Sir, give me 80 days to collect and present these artifacts to museums to get the money, and therefore I'll save Sodor. And it would be a marvelous thing, wouldn't it, sir? Yes, Thomas, it would. Except, I'm still not sure if I should let you do this. You're really important to this railway, and if you're gone, who would take care of your branch line or your jobs? What if you end up getting into an accident? Who would come with you or rescue you if you get hurt? Or worst of all, what about the fact that you might not return? Oh, bother that telephone. We'll discuss more later, Thomas. If you can figure out a way of actually doing your mission, we'll talk later. Just wait until I'm ready to talk again. Yes, sir. I can.